Praise be to God. Daily one missionary biography. Today's missionary William Gowdy. Date of birth 6-5-1857. Date of death 9-4-1922. Native place Chanawick. Country Scotland. Place of vision India. Born to Christian parents, Gowdy cherished the Holy Bible right from his childhood days. The soul-stirring sermons of great preachers like Deal Moody and Sanke made a significant impact on young Gaudi and soon he decided to carry the message of God's love to remote corners of the world. One evening at a revival meeting, Gaudi dedicated his life to Jesus and to pursue God's calling, he joined the Richmond Bible College in 1879. After his ordination in London, he received the call from missionary work in India which he gladly accepted. Gaudi arrived in Chennai in 1882 and began his ministry at Georgetown. He later served at the English Wesley Church in St Thomas Mount. He learned the local language and ministered to the locals in their own language. In 1883, he moved to a town called Tiruvallur and ministered among the downtrodden in many ways. His compassion for the poor and untouchables reflect the love and ministry of Christ. He was concerned not just about their spiritual welfare but also about their economic and social well-being. When he took up the cause of the untouchables and the lower class, the higher class rallied against him and threw stones and spoiled food at him. Gaudi however responded in a godly manner, blessing them, "You have rained stones on me, but God will shower rise on you." During the great famine and deadly cholera epidemic between 1889 and 1891, Gaudi strived for the poor and did all he could do to feed them. He also established schools, hospitals, a tailoring institute, and a lace industry in and around Ekkadu and Thiruvallur to help the poor and needy. After 25 years of tireless work in India, Gaudi returned to England where he passed away at 65. Rightly acclaimed as a veritable apostle to Ekkadu, Gaudi remained a faithful messenger of Christ all through his life. Beloved, how compassionate are you towards your enemies and the poor? Lord, fill my life with your love so that it may overflow to others.